Novarek to be an insane asylum in the depths of Germany, those who live in Kansas might know it as a water slide at the Schlitterbaden Water Park. In 2014, when it was opened, the ride was the tallest slide in the world, sending it 168 feet and 7 inches. It has a long first drop before speeding up a slope and then dropping again. Now, as fun as all that sounds, it's actually pretty dangerous. In 2016, a 10-year-old boy was killed while riding on the slide. The raft the boy and two other women were on went airborne and slammed into a metal support bar, and that decapitated him instantly. The two women were injured, one suffering a broken jaw and the other a broken bone in her face. In November of 2016, Schlitterbahn Park announced it would be demolishing the ride. Slide is one of the tallest slides in the world, standing at 41 meters tall and traveling at around 65 miles per hour. It can be found on Beach Park, which is a Brazilian water park near Portozilla, which is in North Brazil. The ride is so fast and steep that even though it's 41 meters tall, the whole thing is over in a speedy 4 or 5 seconds. For safety reasons, you have to lie on your back with your arms and legs crossed. Now, we're not sure what would happen if you went down head first, but it probably wouldn't be pretty. Number 8. The Aqueduct Slide is a ride that is actually located on two Disney cruise ships, and it's probably one of the coolest rides I've ever seen. It doesn't have the incredible speed that some of the slides on the list have had. You only travel through its tube at around 7 or 8 miles an hour, but it does have some of the coolest views. The ride lasts around a minute, and in that minute you are taken on a journey around the boat, able to see out of your tube and look to the sea or whatever's going on in the boat. You could ride the slide on the Disney Dream or the Disney Fantasy, but it'll be closed in a stormy or windy weather. seconds, and it's a good thing it's so fast. If you were moving any slower, you'd have more of a chance to realize that the tube you're speeding through is actually moving straight through a shark tank. That's right, if you go through this ride, you're actually taken through a shark tank and they all swim around the tube. It's pretty crazy and scary. to the Jumeirah Skyra water slide. Okay, I so pronounced that wrong. Anyways, it's a 32 meter tall, 120 meter long, 50 miles per hour thrill ride through a narrow tube. Look at the difference. With a lot of water slides, you're sort of pushed in or asked to throw yourself down the tube, but not a wild body. On the Jumeirah Skyra, you sort of stand in this capsule, then there's a countdown, and then it drops you into a free fall down the tube. On other rides, there's a sense of control. You can choose how quick you throw yourself down into the water. But on this, it's all automated by a computer and the power of gravity. Number 5. Before Varuk came along, the Kilimanjaro water slide was the tallest water slide in the world. And now that Varuk is gone, I guess it's managed to reclaim its title. At 49.9 meters tall, the slide is located at Aldea das Aguas Park Resort in Volta Redonda, Brazil. According to rumor, you don't actually touch the slide until you're at the bottom of the ride, and that's because of how steep it is. According to reports, 1 in 20 riders don't end up going down the slide after they made it to the top, and it's kind of understandable why. This thing is crazy.
Number 4 Have you ever wanted to slide down a Pan Am Boeing 747? Well now you can if you go to the Evergreen Wings and Waves Water Park in McMinnville, Oregon. What makes this water park so cool is that if you go to a belly of a Boeing 747, you'll be met with a series of slides. All of them have different speeds and lengths, but they all look pretty fun. And hey, the coolest thing about all this is that you're literally going down a water slide out of the side of a plane. Where else are you going to be able to do that? Here are the four slides of here. Blue, orange, yellow, and green. It's directly inside. Number 3 Scorpion's tail shares a trait from a slide earlier in the list. The freefall drop from the Wild Wadi Dramara Skyra. The ride is located at Noah's Ark Water Park in Wisconsin, and it treats riders to a 10-story plunge at 50 feet per second. And that's before driving around into a large high-speed loop. Now the ride is completely enclosed to supposedly make it look like a tail, but you're not going to be looking at much when you're inside of a scorpion. The ride is over in around 7 or 8 seconds, and that loop is really going to take you for a spin. Number 2 Mammoth by name, Mammoth by nature This water slide can be found at the Holiday World at Splash and Safari in Indiana. It's actually a sort of hydromagnetic coaster which uses special LIM technology to send boats of up to 6 passengers up and down hills and around curves. A conveyor belt will take riders up to an initial peak before hurtling down 6 drops that come from in front, the side, and behind, and even in dark and closed sections. The ride is the longest water slide in the world, and you'll never know what side a drop will be coming from. Number 1 The L2 water slide is yet another freefall slide, but it takes what the scorpion sail did and makes it even worse. Found in Wurgel, Austria, this is the first water slide in the world to feature a double loop. Now this ride is actually pretty creepy. While you're standing in the pod waiting for the drop, this really creepy music can start playing. The slide is 25 meters high and you reach a top speed of 65 kilometers an hour after falling 14 meters into the first loop. Then you drop another 14 meters and slide into the second loop. Jesus, man. 